had a couple of issues that we were are nitpicking on on the bodice just to get that totally wrapped up. One is where we put in some diagonal pieces to help keep this upright um, and you can kind of see them. You can't see the one on this side because I figured out what I needed to do to get that to lie straight. I was trying to press it on the pressing ham. The, in this direction there's a fair amount of curve. Going this way it's almost flat which is why I wasn't able to get it to curve in. And so I'm just, I can feel it in here. And so I'm just taking, you can kind of see it when I press my hand in, see those hard edges. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting my finger in underneath that line and just taking with my fingers and finger pressing it so it's curving down. We're having issues with this having sort of a bit of a ripple to it. As you can see on this side, I fixed one and not the other. And I have come up with a solution. We tried putting some of that stiff, same stiff stuff under there and it was just the wrong amount of stiffness and it was just not looking good. And then I realized we could take a piece of the stiff netting. We're just putting it inside. It's inside the lining but nobody will ever see it and so we're fine. And so folding over one edge, got my needle and thread. And if the, the bride is at work, and so if the bride comes and says, no, I don't like that, it's easy for us to take it out because it's just stitched in by hand. Mm -hmm. Just going through and stitching every, you know, little bit, taking another stitch, another stitch, just really easy peasy, tacked in place. And it just adds that little extra bit of stiffness to hold the thing smoothly. So we realized that it wouldn't be a bad idea at the bottom of each piece of boning to take the fabric tape, loop it over the bottom and sew it to make sure the boning is pushed all the way to the top. That way it won't move around during the thing that's mm -hmm. always at the top. So that's what we're doing. Now all of that's done. Everything looks beautiful. Um, or as a friend of mine would say, beauteous. <laughs> um, we're going to take and do a surging along the bottom, ooh -hoo, the bottom edge of the fabric here so that everything's all sealed in. Um, before we do that, I'm just going to quick take on the sewing machine and sew along that line just so that all this slippery fabric doesn't shift around while we're surging. Mm -hmm. So in the lining stuff. Oh, yeah. It's pinned to me. <laughs> So now we're going to serge the bottom edge here. We have cream thread on the serger. This will never be displayed on the outside for the world to see. And so, really, we could probably use any color. Um, in theater, the only serger color threads you buy are black, gray, cream, and white. And everything's just surged with one, whichever one's closest, because from a distance it doesn't read. And the serger cuts off the edge at the same time it stitches. When you get to an outside corner, it's a little tricky. You go to the corner and then you can physically turn it, shift it around. You can see and the nice clean edge. Nice clean edge. And then my serger, because it's a cheap old serger, every so often I have to tug to make sure the threads are really in there. The things that give the tension, tension wheels. So at the top of the zipper, we the original thought was a hook and eye, but because of the wide gap there, that's not really an option. So we're going to do a hook and a thread loop. So I've already sewn the hook on, same way you'd sew any other hook on. Always want to make sure you do the two prongs there and at least once around this so it doesn't wobble back and forth. And then I've got a double layer of thread and I've you know, hid my knot back there and gone through. And then we're going to go once around the hook and then back, let's see here, back into the dress and I'll show you where it goes in and as soon as I get the pin through, needle through here. Ugh. See, get that untangled, straighten out, 
put it back through the hook again. Okay, so now I want to make sure that my loop, it's not just going to be this piece of thread. I'll show you what comes next. So I'm going to make sure that the thread loop is the right length. So it's pulling this in but not pulling it too far. So it falls smoothly. So I'm flipping back and forth to look and see what looks good. And that looks good. So now I can undo that. I'm holding this tight so I make sure that it's at that length. Now I'm going to take and knot off my thread so that my loop doesn't change in length. So now, if you've never done a thread loop, so I've got this knotted here. Then we're going to go through the thread loop. And, and so here it makes a loop that I go, and then I go through that loop and pull it down. Through the thread loop, you want to be consistent in the direction you go. Which way you start from the bottom, you start from the top, it doesn't matter. You just want to make sure you're always going the same direction. Not because it's important for the strength of it, just because it makes it prettier. Mm -hmm. And then I pull it down. And so you can start to see that I'm building up. We'll give you another shot of it as I'm part way around. So now I'm almost all the way around. I don't know if you can tell, there's like a millimeter or so that I haven't stitched. And remember how I said that, oh, I need to make sure that I've got it the right tightness. And so before I do those last couple stitches, I'm going to take and put my thread loop through my hook and go like this and look and go, you know what, if that were a little, this is trying to peek up above, if that were a little tighter, that's going to pull it in more and then way it's going to make sure it stays hidden. And since I haven't done those last couple stitches in there, I can take this opportunity of shortening it. So I can just pull it in here and I'm going to go through a little bit of the zipper to make sure I've added strength. I did through a little bit of the zipper on this side too. Okay, so now we're going to serge the top edge of the skirt um, in order to make sure that we uh, don't accidentally catch some of the tool which we did at one point um, when we tried this on their other serger. Um, we're going to pin everything in place before we start stitching. And so I'm pulling this down and I'm just taking a needle to go through both the front layers and the back layers, just a few inches down, just to make sure nothing gets caught and messed up. And then after I finish all the pinning, we'll come back. So now you can see we have our pins over there helping hold everything in place, which is not to say that I'm not going to double check everything every once in a while to make sure we don't go off kilter. Um, our goal is not to cut off extra, our goal is simply to get everything locked in place. If a tiny bit gets cut off, that's fine. But so now you can see the top edge is all neat and tidy everything's sealed inside that's going to make sewing the layers together much easier. So we're going to have six eyelets. We have white eyelets here that are going to look lovely. Um, we need to work out our spacing and so and there's a bit of a curve to the the way the bodice goes together here. Mm -hmm. So our pins are they're not in the exact placement yet but we're just figuring out where does that top one go and so Right now, if we put them up like at the very top of this, so it'd be like right close to the top of the placket that this goes into, you can see the ribbon would go right at that top edge of the, um, the pink there. Whereas we pulled this down a little bit, and so it's going to, 
with this ribbon a little bit of that uh, the fabric is going to show and with our wider ribbon it still hits at the top. If we had the wider ribbon and we had these moved up further you can see it would make that a straight line which isn't bad it's just a different look. So we're starting here so now we're going to measure okay let's take this measurement make it the same measurement at the bottom so it's equal and then space these out equally and then we'll start putting in the actual eyelets. Okay. So my mom apparently wanted to spend time with my poof because she's not going to be able to spend a lot of time with it. So she's, she has it draped over herself. Yes. She's been spending time with the bodice too. She, oh, she's been spending time with the bodice too. So she looks like she's just becoming the dress or something. Very nice, mom. Thank you. I need a new phone. <laughs> If you wanted to see my poof just like draped, there it is. <laughs> Go. So our in-between pins are not pinned correctly yet, but our top one and bottom one are. And so I'm going to start out putting in those eyelets. And so I've got my one here. And I've got my hole maker. I take out the pin and the pin makes a slight impression that I can still see. I get that lined up. I'm going to take my glasses off and make sure I get this lined up properly. So we only have one shot. Uh, yeah. Scary thing when you it's can't go back. Scary. When everything else is done. And it would be nice if we would have been able to get to that point earlier to maybe have put these in before we put the whole thing together. But... That didn't happen that, that way. That didn't happen that way. So, <laughs> and we talked about this before, but just to reiterate, you put the eyelet then through the hole. So this thing punches a hole. Put the eyelet through the hole. Go to the back side. And make sure you don't have any threads crossing over mm -hmm. this thing. Because it won't necessarily go down correctly. We go back again. This goes up from the bottom. We did a little test somewhere the sample is here. You see we have a lovely blue one in mm -hmm. there. Um, did a test with one with color to make sure, okay, is the color going to scrape off? What do you have to do to be careful about this? Um, so squish without shifting it around at all. Carefully open it. Does it look good? looks good. On the back side, I'm going to check here, some of these little tines are sticking up. But we have our solution for that. With a piece of fabric over the eyelet and over the satin to make sure we don't scratch anything on the side that's the beauty side. Mm -hmm. Can't cover the side because I would be able to see. Anywhere where the prongs are sticking up and might catch on the ribbon, we're going to take the needle nose plier here and pliers them on down so they're not sticking out at all. And I'm taking with my thumb going across the surface and making sure, okay, is there anywhere where a ribbon would catch when you're trying to thread and unthread this or tighten the, tighten the ribbon or whatever. It's fun. <laughs> hey, feels smooth on that side. It still looks good on this side. Yay! 11 more to go. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to have the momentous event of attaching the skirt to the bodice. Yay! Oh, um, We'd marked here with threads um, the center front so we can get that lined up. Their point. And our pin here. Um, we're going to go poof up because it's way easier to do it with the poof on top. Um, and so we're just going to go around and pin and pin and pin some more. All right. Um, keeping being careful because 
although we have poof up, the poof is, this is Very all sneaky. in between. You know what? I'm actually going to do something just to make sure we don't get, have to re-sew anything. I'm going to take, smooth this out, and just do like we did before with our serging, but more neatly this time. And just put pins around to hold this in place so that we make sure we don't get anything caught. And then we're going to pin the two together. All right. Second to the last official step. Okay. Okay. So as we're going around, the zipper in the back is off center and the zipper in the skirt is centered. And so there's sort of an overlap where we'll be hooking them together. So to make sure I get things lined up properly when I sew these together, I zipped up the back of this, the bodice and I zipped up the back of the skirt and I've, so I'm pinning along here to, you know, as if this were all sewn together and little bits of eyeleted things sticking in the way. <laughs> so here now, you know, I'm making sure that this goes all the way across to here smoothly. So I've got in that spot. So here's how it goes apart, but when I sew, I start, I, I'll, you know, it'll start from here and this little bit here, we're going to be attaching in a very clever way, hmm. which we will explain in a bit. But now I can make sure Everything's that I get this, this lined dress. up properly before I sew it together. Yeah. Okay, so we put the zipper foot on here because we have boning in our piece and we don't want to have our presser foot running into boning and making it so funny. We have to remember that we have these little wings with the eyelets on them that we don't want to sew into the seam. So, um, let's see here. Reach in. Pull that down, pull this up. Can't even see anymore because of the floof. <laughs> Feel free to move as required. Got my five A's. I'm gonna start it out by hand just because I'm dealing with lots of layers of stuff. to check if it's sewing. Yep. Looks like it. Yep, everything's working. Yay. So we're getting to the point in front here. So I'm laying this out to go to the uh, to sew to the point. And I can sort of feel underneath when I get there because Now I'll lift it up, reposition it, turn the skirt around that point. So I'm coming up to the last bit. Again, I want to make sure I don't get that little wing trapped underneath because that would be tragic. And I'm actually going to stop a little before the end because of what we're going to do with how this thing closes in the back. Okay. So let's pull these pins out. Yay! Yay! And let's pull the pins off of, so there's the point. It's not super, super pointy, but I think it's a pretty nice curvy point. Because, I mean, we could go back and make it super pointy if you want. <laughs> Bride says it's fine. We're going with it. Oh my gosh, look at that! Yay! <laughs> okay. Oh yes, look at it, look at it. <laughs> 
There we go. It, <laughs> the top looks so little. Yeah, compared to <laughs> compared to the dress. Uh huh. Compared to the poof. Burn. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as you can see here in the dress, we have the, uh, this is what I was mentioning before, we have the zipper going up the center here. We have this separating zipper going this way. And we need a way for the, to put this up into here when it's zipped up so that this attaches because we have this little gap here. And so we're going to, we have this pink ribbon. So we're going to sew a little bit onto the edge of the bodice here just to give it a little more firmness. In fact, I'm thinking we might put it on the back side just so it's more invisible. Um, and then we're going to sew. The reason I didn't finish sewing all the way to here is we'll take a bit of this pink ribbon also here, put it around here so we have something to sew the hooks and eyes onto. Mm -hmm. And then I'll show you the hooks and eyes after we get that sewn together. So on the bodice side, we have the ribbon on the back just to add some strength for when we're sewing on our hook or our eye. And on this one here, we have the ribbon on the front side, which will be completely folded under when it's together. And so I am putting, and I've marked here, when I had the zipper closed, I figured out how far over the, the dress is. And it goes to there. And so I'm going to put a hook just below that ribbon line like a little bit below so that when this is folded over it doesn't show from the front. So I'm going to make sure the hook is hidden. And so I've got the hook there. I'm, it's a pretty short span. We may need to put a second hook here. I'm thinking the zipper will hold that up enough and this zipper will hold this side up so if we just have the one in the middle that might be enough which mm -hmm. would be really super cool. Yeah, less sewing for us. Less sewing for us. <laughs> and less hooking when you're trying to put the thing on. Oh yeah, that's always a bonus. Okay, Fluff Wrangler, I do need your assistance. It's trying to crawl off my lap. So I just need you to take the weight. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So we have the two sets of zippers here. We have the ribbon together. We have the hook under there. I have this pin lined up with that hook so I know where that hook goes that direction and now I want to pull the skirt up into place and take another pin and mark where that top of that hook sits on the dress. I'm going to pinch it from below to help figure where this is. So now I have my marked spot where I'm going to put my other half. Mm -hmm. When you buy hooks and eyes, they usually come with these little rings. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, depending on the set that you buy, you'll find in with the rings little bar things like this. Mm -hmm. This particular set didn't have it. These particular bars are from a really old, really, really, really old set of hooks. Um, these are handy because, get one of these off, I can sew this on here and the hook will go into it and it'll be a flat thing that it'll hook into. Mm -hmm. And so when we put the hook in, the hook will lie really flat up against there. Right. So I'm going to sew that in place. second I need to get her into her little thread loop and then Rosalie come back here so you can see this so uh -huh. we lace this up obviously yep and then the zipper goes up like this and, and that hooks like chunk chunk 
And we could put another hook. So that's what it was if we needed to. Or it okay. kind of looks like that hook needs to be. That is definitely going to be hidden. Yeah. Not to get the Nope. So I think we're good. Beautiful. So do you feel you're in? You feel bride like? <laughs> yes. Oh. Let oh me gosh. mess mess with the front just to make sure yes. whether all the things I that I put in there are functioning Wait, properly. Are we Oh, I had a sneaky way to make those diagonal things disappear, and I forgot to do it on one side. Oh. <laughs> so this side, you can't see them at all, and this side, they're sort of poking out in okay. some places because I okay. didn't do it. Okay, okay, I so got it. I will, I will do that, just not right this side. <laughs> Can you look over your shoulder at all, Lily? A second. <laughs> on something. I know. Where? What? What are you standing on? Oh, fabric. Okay. Fabric! Different That's fabric. What I'm standing the floor on. fabric. Floor fabric. There Here, I'm just gonna take a little scrap of. Covered the orange carpeting for you. It definitely helped. Okay, step forward once. All right. I'm making a fake temporary ribbon in the back just to tie it oh, shut thank you. so that you can see what it looks like when it's closed. Okay. That's too long still. But cute. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, you're adorable. <laughs> oh, you can't see her face. There it is. Hello. There you are. Pan down. You might take the camera off Pan the stand up. so you can rotate it. Pan down. Pan up. Oh, that's another way to do it. We're taking this off the thing. So you can get the whole bride. We're going on adventures. <laughs> See how far I can back myself into the corner here. The lighting is terrible in here, but yes, that's okay. Going around you. Feel like you're in a dramatic oh, movie yet? Cover a little orange here. Because <laughs> okay, we know again, you love Lily. the orange. Just your head. Stay. Oh, let me get out of the picture. Nice. Do you feel pretty? Mm-hmm. I gotta go to the front now and see what it looks like. I she's, she's got a smile on her face. 